How about now, guys? Can you uh, let me know if you can hear me all right? Yes. Yes. No, I yes. Let me check, 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 check. Can you guys hear me? Yes. You can hear me? Yes. We can't. Okay, I see. Yes. From Caro that says yes. All right, if uh, a couple more people want to just confirm, let me know if you can hear me. Apparently, I'm not able to hear you guys. But it, let's see. Okay, so it looks like you can hear me now. Okay, so that's progress. But I can't hear you guys. Why is that? If someone could just uh, keep your mic open and say a few words as I'm making some changes here on my computer, just in, hope, in hopes that I can hear you guys. Can you hear Hello. me? Hello. Hi. <laughs> 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 I miss you all. Talks amongst yourselves. What the, is the problem? Teacher, say something. Que si nos está escuchando y nosotros con nuestras cosas. Si nos está escuchando, no. <laughs> right. No, no, just the chat. If this doesn't work, then I guess we're going to have to just deal with you hearing me and me not being able to hear you. Let's I'm try this. Okay. Is that Braulio? Yes. <laughs> hey, I hear your voice. <laughs> Success. Awesome. All right, my friends. Happy Friday. It's weird. I hear my voice too now. It's weird. Anyway. All right. Hi, guys. Today, my friends, today we're going to finish our activity uh, thinking about bringing together two concepts, love and wisdom. Okay. So we started off the week by doing an activity that answered basically the, the broad question of what is love. Then we went into looking at questions that relate to wisdom, uh, specifically a question about perspective and how we can look at different types of perspective in terms of wisdom. Well, today we're going to finish this activity and we're going to try to bring together these two ideas, love and wisdom. So I'm going to share my screen and show you a little bit about what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go into Teams. Today we're going to continue working in our teams that we were working in yesterday. We had seven different teams, seven different points that relate to the question of perspective in terms of wisdom. So we're going to continue working in the same documents with the same with the same teams and let me open up share my screen here okay hopefully you guys can see my screen if you guys go into microsoft teams under our grammar and context 2 team and go under files week 14 remember we had basically two different word documents that we've been working with this week Again, we're going to continue today working in wisdom. But today, I also want us to look at the love document, the document that we have a list of different ideas, many good ideas about what is love. And I want you to use this list to get some ideas about how you can bring together some of these ideas with your specific ideas that you have developed or that you did develop yesterday. All right, so let's look at an example. So let's go down to Prope B. And okay, so let's say that we want to look at radical open-mindedness. 
So what we can do is team team one here, Paulina and Wendy, can go and look at and talk about and decide on what kind of aspects about love that they want to include that they could bring in and merge or combine with the idea that they have that relates to radical open-mindedness. The idea is to develop or modify the sentence stem to bring in two concepts, one that relates to love and the other, in this case, that relates to radical open-mindedness. Now, one thing we talked about this morning in Prope A that I want to also talk with you guys about is finding an alternative way to express the point that you've been assigned. So when we look at the words radical open-mindedness, I want to ask that you try to not include those words in your sentence stem. Maybe you include words that have similar meaning. Maybe you want to think in terms of, let's say, an example or a detail of radical open-mindedness. And think about those details or those examples or simply just another way of saying the same thing, but how it relates to love and bring those, those ideas together. All right, so the idea here is to take each one of these points, each one of you has, uh, has your own specific focus. And so ask, your quest, ask yourself the question, how does love relate to feeding yourself ideas? How does love relate to empathy? How does love relate to being able to hold contradictions in your mind? And when you try to answer that question, you're going to be thinking in terms of maybe some details, some examples, or maybe simply another way of stating this point that, that you've been assigned. But we want to try to avoid the wording that we have in our heading here as, as the point that we have to focus on. All right, so a couple of things we have to think about. How do we bring love and wisdom together? Use the list that we worked on earlier this week to get some ideas. <clears throat> Talk with your partner. If you have a partner, if you're working by yourself, of course, you make your own decisions there. But think about how you can bring love and the, the ideas that you have developed and bring those together. Once you have your sentence stem, you're going to basically be modifying the sentences that you've already developed. Now, in some cases, maybe your modification might be very slight. Maybe just a few words, a change of a couple of words, maybe, will be enough. In other cases, maybe you have to develop more or change more of the words that you have currently. But the idea is to keep this idea of a sentence stem, one sentence stem. We're going to develop three different versions of this sentence stem and continue using the three connectors so, but, and because to uh, expand the sentence stem, again, trying to bring together these two concepts, love and wisdom. Also, you might want to, as a review, check. There's a few things that I would like for you to try to avoid. Primarily, the personal pronoun it, and also phrases like, it is important, it is necessary, it is vital. I think in most cases we've made those changes, but just as a reminder, and I've added this third point that I've already expressed, we want to try to avoid using the words that appear in our, in our points, right? So we're not going to say feed yourself ideas. We're not going to use the word empathy, right, in our sentence stem. We're going to try to find alternative ways to express this idea. All right, so are there any questions regarding today's activity? Feel free to set up uh, 
individual chats with your uh, with your teammates if you need to. If you need to go into another chat and uh, discuss, you know, what kind of sentence stem that you want to include, feel free to do so. We'll reconvene, of course, like we always do at the end of the class around 1.50. I'll be online here. I'm going to mute my mic, but if you have questions, just jump in, unmute your mic, and we can address those questions. If I've left a comment in Microsoft Word and you have made those changes, please go ahead and delete or remove the comment. And if you have questions about my feedback, then, of course, now's a good time to ask about those if you've responded to some of my my comments, you might want to just bring it to my attention here now because I may I may have missed it since there are several comments along the right hand side of this document. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic and uh, feel free, guys, if you have any questions or you want me to look at something, uh, just jump right in. But I have I have a question. So I, uh, yes, go ahead, uh, Oscar. Yeah. So um, at the end of the day, we're just going to have uh, three sentences. The ones that we have already, we we have to delete them, or or they have to stay there. Uh, you can replace. You can replace the sentences that you have. Now there might be cases where you're not changing everything. It depends on, you know, what kind of, um, you know, ideas that you have, you know, but uh, the idea is that, yes, at the end of the day, we need to have three sentences. And probably in all of our cases, uh, we're going to have or include the word love in the sentence stem because we want to say something about love and we want to relate the idea of love to your particular idea that you have currently already developed. Now you decide if you need to change certain words, if you need to be more specific, of course you can modify it. But yes, we're gonna replace these new ideas today over whatever you have now so that you don't have to, I don't need to see like both versions, like what it was before versus what it is now. You can go ahead and make those changes directly to the ideas that you had from yesterday. Okay, and regarding to the the changes of, of words that you mentioned, um, you said something about um, replacing words, but for other words that that are similar or something. Yes, uh, let me pull up an example, uh, Oscar, from your. Okay, in your case, so. So you have this idea, letting go of your ego. All right, so what I would try to do when you develop your sentence stem, first of all, try to include the word love and then say something about love relates to letting go of your ego without saying, without using the words, letting go of your ego. So you can think about, you know, what is your beliefs, your ideas about love? And it can be, uh, you know, loving another friend and loving a family member, loving a significant other, loving a pet, loving nature, whatever. Think of a context that relates to this and see if there's a way that you can put into different words, maybe an example or a detail, some aspect of letting go of your ego that you can share in your sentence stem without, again, using the specific words letting go of your ego, right? This exercise today is in part is to help you think of what we call paraphrasing, right? So paraphrase this idea, put into different words the same idea, or if you want to think of it as, let's think of an example. Maybe you can provide a very specific detail that relates to this idea of letting go of your ego. And, and then once you have your stem, then you can extend your ideas looking at the three different connectors. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, yes, go ahead, Wendy. So we need to modify
modify our sentence stem and add what love is. And then we need to change each one of the sentences to include like the concept of love or just the sentence stem. All right, so I would begin with the sentence stem, all right, bringing in the idea of love as it relates to your, your point. Then you can go back and look at the rest of the sentence with each of the connectors to determine whether or not you need to make some changes. But again, I would take it into two parts. I would start with the sentence stem and come up with a good sentence stem first, right? And then look at the rest of your sentence. Again, the idea here is to try to keep the same idea that you currently have, right? With what you developed yesterday, right? But be open to whether or not you need to change certain words. It's going to really depend on each case, right? To, to what degree you need to change the wording or maybe you leave some words the way they are. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes, uh, Braulio. Uh, I send you a message. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay, let me um, give me one second, Braulio. I'm uh, responding to Sylvia, who just asked me a question too. So, and I'll uh, I'll get right back to you. Just give me like one minute. Okay, uh, Braulio, can you work with uh, Marifer? Uh, that would be point number six. Yes. So, Marifer, if you could please uh, get with uh, Braulio as well and uh, uh, decide on uh, how you want to make the, the changes to what you worked on yesterday. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, we're getting close to the end of class. I'd like to take this time to recap or review some of the details with uh, this week's activity as we conclude this week's activity, bringing together the idea or the notion of love and wisdom. So for this week, this activity, we need to try to get some ideas for, about love that we developed earlier in the week and bring those together with some ideas that we've developed starting yesterday as it relates to wisdom, specifically as it relates to the question, which perspective should you have? Okay, this is all about looking at seven specific points that together relate to the importance of accepting and looking at different perspectives as a way to build wisdom. Now, we want to bring that idea together in terms of what that means in terms of love, the idea of love. So here we want to have three sentences, all right? Each team should have three sentences. And make sure that you check the format. We're basically going to have a level three heading that's going to have the point that we're working on that we've been assigned. Then we're going to have below that a level four heading that's going to include the sentence stem. Now, remember that the sentence stem is the first part of the sentence that comes before the connector, one of the three connectors that we're going to be using for this activity. So, but, or because. So again, the sentence stem is that portion of the sentence that occurs before the connector. And this sentence stem should be a level four heading just below 
your point, that your assigned point. Then below your sentence stem, we're going to have a list of three examples of the same sentence stem using the three different connectors. Okay, so, but, and because. Now, when you develop your sentences, work together as a team, but go ahead and include your name after the sentence that you developed. If you work together on the same sentence, we'll then include both of your names. But I think it's important to list your name to show, you know, which sentence you worked on. Okay, and this is in the case, obviously, with uh, teams that have more than one person. Some of you are working by yourself, so you're going to be responsible for all three sentences. Again, include your name after each of those three sentences. But at the end of the day, we should have three sentences for each of the seven points that relate to wisdom. Okay, so again, you can replace and modify the ideas that you had yesterday that, the, that you developed. And we want to make sure that we try to avoid using the same words that are in the point itself, right? So instead of saying, don't just give advice, share perspective, try to think of an example or some specific detail or aspect of that point and how that relates to love when you're developing your sentence stem. Make sure that you list your sentences you as numbers, all right? So I would select the sentences and use the numbering icon at the top so that it automatically indents, and it also should take care of your spacing between each sentence. And also make sure that you try to avoid the personal pronoun it. Try to avoid it is important, it is necessary, it is vital, it is essential etc. And what else? The entire activity for this week will occur in this shared Word document. So I did upload an assignment in the virtual classroom, but there's nothing to upload to that assignment. Okay, there's nothing to upload to the assignment in the virtual classroom. Okay, I'll just be looking at your, your work here in this document. Uh, when I when I end up grading this uh, this assignment. Now I'm going to give everyone until tomorrow. If you need additional time working with your partners to finish this task, I'm going to give everyone an extra day to complete this if you need it. All right. So work together. You're working on with your assigned sentences, but check each each other's work. Leave comments and feedback. If there are changes that are required in terms of grammar, punctuation, right, capitalization, et cetera, check also the meaning of the connector that you're using, because also this is an exercise of meaning and looking at how two parts of the sentence relate. Are you expressing a consequence? Are you expressing a reason? Are you expressing a contrasting idea? Right, so make sure also the meaning of the sentence is uh, is is correct, and uh, this is also something that you should be looking at when you're looking at not only your own sentence but also when you're providing feedback to your partner. When we finish, right next week, I'll consolidate all of these to come up with basically a philosophical paper on what is wisdom and what is love together, these two ideas bringing together, and you'll be sharing your ideas, your beliefs, and how these two concepts relate to each other. Okay, any questions, guys, on uh, regarding this week's activity? All right, well, if there are no more questions, then I think we'll conclude today and um, again, if you need some more time, uh, that's, that's fine. If you need today and, and tomorrow to make your final changes, I'll begin looking at uh, your, your work uh, probably on Sunday. And uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, so if there are no more questions, we'll stop uh, there for today. And we'll see you guys next week. Have a good weekend. And we'll talk to you on Monday. 
Thank you, Thank you too. Thanks Bye. very much. Too. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.